Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, this is Terrell Hall of Fame D Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful sh. I tell you what, um, if things, you know, if I'm missing for a couple of days, y'all don't trip. I'll be back. Some Got some stuff I might have to take care of. So let me tell you this, though. I was asked a question about comparing, right? Comparing, like, the best dogs from an era to the best dogs now, right? And, um... One of the comparisons that came up was more so of a size thing. You know, old school dog versus newer dog. And it was, you know what I'm saying, of course, the legendary guy, Pokemon, versus the new phenom and, and uh, not the dog phenom, but the new phenom and future legend, his name is going to stay around, Rocco, having seen them both in person. And of course, you know what I mean? I got good memory, but I can't, you know, give you all the strong points of every dog. But I will say this. It's one of the more interesting comparisons, and I thank you for that, Will, because the funny thing is if you compare Pokemon to Rocco, right? Size-wise, they're very similar. You know what I mean? Very similar in size. You know, I would give, maybe give Rocco the edge and bone um head size would be similar it's just a different shape of a head um but the i mean where the where everything sways at on this like comparison would be confirmation because although um pokemon didn't have like a perfect rear his rear is still better than rocco's I think Rocco may carry a little bit more density in the, in the rear end, but Rocco has an obvious high rear. That would also give Pokemon a slight edge in overall top line, you know, and Pokemon had a clean tail. Pokemon's movement was a little bit better than what Rocco's is. But, you know, the comparison of dogs and body type and everything like that, it's, it's a very, very good comparison. And so, you know, it led to the second part of like, okay, because this is a novice. Will is a novice at this, and I, I no disrespect, Will, but he's, this is like his first year. He's literally got his first dog. You know, he's been around a little bit watching, but this is not his thing. So he was trying to get, he was being very genuine in trying to get to the bottom of these dogs. And one of the things that he was trying to figure out with these dogs was that like, okay, I see all the hype about Rocco and his size and everything, but he's like, Pokemon looks just as big and in some pictures looks a lot cleaner and this, that, and the other. So what's the demand to change the look? And I love it when people don't have, so to say, a, you know, a horse in the race, you know, so to say, because it was very, very honest question when you ask like, well, why would this dog be given so much more credit? You know what I mean? That he would, uh, you know, that you would have to say, oh yeah, we're gonna switch the whole entire breed to look like this one particular dog. You know, that's a weird question. It's something that, you know, you look at it and you're like, damn, you know, why is it that we would do something of that nature? And that's the, you know, that's the Dave Wilson theory. That's the Dave Wilson, um, you know what I mean? Thing that where it wasn't a thing about the dogs being bullier, it's just, being caught up in all of the um, things that I've told y'all he's he's caught up into with his partnerships with Bashar and different people and things like this. This is why you see the videos change to where he explains how the headpiece was supposed to be more like Pokemon to all of a sudden, oh, the extreme dogs do this and do that. It's really business stuff. And, I, and I'm not trying to jump on that whole thing with Dave. I'm just giving y'all what what is factual. The real reason why they're willing to change everything to a bulldog now is because of money. It's just no other reason. You know, that's why the Bashar interview was erased. 
it be you know it became a thing of uh Bashar said too much in that interview when he said that they redid the breed after his dogs and everything like that he openly admitted that they changed the entire breed well the you know the only thing he didn't go into is what I've already told y'all the reason why you know that Dave was handcuffed to have to change the breed you know bottom line you know Dave owes money you know what he did at the time he owed somebody money that he was very scared of. Bashar bailed him out. Bashar is part owner of the ABKC. That's why he defends it and speaks, you know, from a from a uh, a narrative of being, you know, a guy with the ABKC. And this is not like conspiracy theory. And this is not. This is just the facts as we, you know, as we know them now. So I mean, it goes back to the separation. And this is not a video, by the way, to shit on Rocco or Pokemon or whatever. Like I said. You just now have two different breeds. If you, if the breed is being remade to be allowed to be a bulldog breed, you know, they say extreme, but extreme is really a bulldog breed. I mean, look at Brim and Grim. You tell me what the fuck that is. They're bulldogs. It's no, it's no American bully in their face. There's no American bully about Brim or Grim. It's just no American bully. So with, with it being no American bully there, you know, I mean, we know what it is. So with that being the case, it's a new breed being made and whatever their standards are, you know, maybe Rocco is a good example of that Rocco's living a longer life, but it's something about his blood that they're not living long. Maybe it's something else they're adding or whatever the case may be. But, you know, the ultimate, you know, when you start talking about ultimately and everything that's going on with the breed and everything like that, it just needs to be a separation. They can pick their banner dogs for the um, for for the extreme, whatever it is. But, you know, a better question that was asked is why hold on to the American bully name? You know, none of this had anything to do with, oh, let's make the breed more bullier. And this was the evolution. It was none of that. You know, it was a change due to financial situations and restrictions and deals that were being made, you know. I will say, like I say, for what they want, Rocco is probably a good example for what they want. They allow certain things. If you remember the original stream standard, it allowed for certain things that we wouldn't allow for, you know, the high rear, the kink tail, you know, the underbites, you know, those type of things are allowed in the extreme class, which now they've just turned into the extreme breed. And this is why you see the flaws in a lot of these dogs. Not, you know, and I'm not saying every dog that wins, you know, a championship is, um, flawed but most of them are you know and you see dogs who literally have obvious kink tails that are champions and grand champions now we see merle dogs that are uh winning shows and i think one of them is a champion or grand champion or maybe a couple by now you know so you see that part of the evolution where they're just they're really going more and more towards having a heavy bulldog effect and allowing it whereas the older dogs it, it's, ne it's never been about size the older dogs were always big you could find a bunch of big bully dogs. I mean, if you look at pictures of Paco, Paco wasn't a non-bully dog. He was he was bully. You know, he's very bully. Sometimes Paco could get too heavy. You know, it, um, it, you could always look back and see certain dogs. So you know what I mean. It. it we just have to call a, a what they say call a spade a spade man it's really two different breeds the, the separation is driven by money you know we don't want to get into the argument of whether the american bully is supposed to be this or supposed to be that anymore you know you can like what you like and we don't have to go into a thing of uh the old dogs oh they were just too much terrier they were meant to be terrier i keep telling y'all that this was a terrier breed. This is a terrier breed. The original description, the main dogs in the original description, and really the only dogs are terriers, you know? But because of the changes and because of the selling out, things got a little bit different. But, uh, you know, I say all that to say this is that, you know, now we have to start having a realistic conversation instead of comparing the dogs, accepting that you have two different breeds. You can like your Rocco stuff. You can like your Dax stuff. You can like your Brim and Grim and Tim and Miyagi's for that uh, for that case because they're letting Miyagi in. You can like all of that stuff. It's no need for you to try to shit on the uh, the dogs that really made the breed and are the true American bullies. You know what I mean? It, it, it doesn't matter. We typically don't like what y'all have. Y'all don't like what we have. You know, we can stop the lie of the of the evolution of the dog. And it was always meant to get better, bigger. No, 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 no. 
It's no evolution. The reason why your dogs look like they do is because you mix them with other dogs. It's just that simple. We're not going to do that. We're not going to keep on telling this lie that y'all just all of a sudden in two generations, your dogs went from one look to a totally different look and y'all didn't do something else. You know, hell, all you have to do if you want to take, if you want to be realistic and we talking about, if you're talking about Rocco, look at Khan's partner's dogs. Now he, he, he promotes his dogs as exotics. He doesn't promote them as American bullies. And if you look at what Nico has, it's sort of interesting how all of, uh, all of uh, Rocco's dogs look like Nico's dogs. But it is what it is, man. Um, hopefully y'all got something out of me rambling on like this, but the ultimate of what I was trying to get to is that, you know, why, why I haven't been jumping in most of those debates is I have just, you know, come to the conclusion that they're two different breeds and it's really not much for us to argue about, you know, um, do your thing. You don't have to argue over the American bully name or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you feel more comfortable saying, oh yeah, that's the extreme type of American bully. All right, cool. Cause we're never going to come to a, uh, an agreement on this shit. But until next time, man, God bless y'all. Much love. Peace.